Well, I couldn't really drive past without looking at this. We're in Heinz garage, classic garage. This is based on a Triumph Herald in here. A cool little thing. They actually made kit cars like this back in the day in New Zealand. We were fiberglass shelled, but this one is totally home built. And it's obviously steel. So a little Herald engine under there. Some awesome little fake pipes on the side of it. I don't know quite what the grill is off. It's got a Ferrari badge. <laughs> How cool. But, if ever you wondered where all the BMWs in the South Island have gone, they appear to be here. Super cool little super carry van. Vauxhall Victor 101. Probably a little bit too far gone to restore. But wow, it's got some really good parts left on it still. And there is an amazing number of parts in here. And there's an amazing number of BMWs in here to be honest. I mean, I think this is probably more E30s than I've seen in 10 years. I'm sure I'm going to be wrong on this, but it's my favourite 5 Series BMW. These were super common in the old days. We had lots of these, and they were amazing driving cars, especially in manual format, which that one was. And look at this. 6 Series. I can't remember the last time I've seen like a really... Decrepit 6 Series. Well, actually, this one's not too bad, at least rust-wise. What a really cool car. 82 as well. Automatic. Leather. Really cool. I mean, these were a very expensive car when they were new. 635 CSI. Nice. And this... 3 litre BMW as we call them, can't remember the designation numbers or anything on them, but rare, rusty, obviously that was a big problem with them back in the day. This one's probably unsavable I would say. And they, the only ones I've ever seen here are actually quite rusty. Or E30s. I think this is an E28 323i. One's a common car. Had a lot of them when they were in the trade. Newish, but now, wow. Very hard to find. It's a manual too, which is incredible. I think this, oh, I'm gonna guess it's an international. Oh, I'm right, it's an international. Right hand drive. Hasn't been here that long, hasn't it? 2016, it was last on the road. Super cool. Probably one of the most common cars in New Zealand was the old Triumph 2000 2.5s. This one's a 2.5. He did these with petrol injection too. It would have been one of the first injected cars. Look at this beautiful old International. It's lovely in here. Look at that. My guess is she's got a non standard engine and box combo in it. But what a cool car! Wow. Wait till we get out the front, there's even more cool stuff out there. Let me just close this properly. More modern BMWs, 320i, E30. Cool. And now, look at the old Land Cruiser. Slowly going back to the inside. Oh, there's a really rare car here in a second, too. I'll show you. Look at this. Actually, looks pretty nice, looks pretty rust free. The earlier 5 Series pre facelift. I gotta tell you, Land Cruiser. These were one of the cars that built New Zealand. Just spectacular, you know? This one's obviously seen quite a bit of life. <laughs> Has its own little ecosystem growing inside it. But actually, for a Land Cruiser, Appears to be reasonably solid. Should definitely be saved. Wow. 
Uh, I think somebody's going to tell me this is an FJ40. It's probably an FJ45 or something like that. I don't get really too far into it, but it's a spectacular car. Now this is a Bogvord. And I'm going to say I'll tell you it's a two-door sedan. Not a coupe, but pretty cool looking thing. Different roof line on them. Very rare to see one like this. But of course, there's more at the front. Now this is rare. This is an Austin Tasman. Now I think these were six cylinders. Very similar to the Austin Max, even based on the Austin 1800. And these were Australasian only, as best as I remember. Obviously the, the six under 1800 engine, not six under 1800 body, but they're using the bigger six cylinder engine for Australia. It's what they thought they would use. And of course this one comes with a bench as well. And it's a manual. I hope you can see that. Very difficult to see inside this. I can't really get in it, unfortunately. But different rear end treatment. Very much different rear end treatment. A couple of ubiquitous minis. Sadly both at the end of their lives here. And of course, surprisingly, not as they're just a Kimberley, eh? there's a lot of parts in here too for one look. That's a Kimberley, I think, rather than a Tasman. It was slightly different. One was the up spec one, I can't remember which was which. Z3. Land Rover. Series 2, I think. I'll just double check that I'll show you around it. Could be a Series 3, I think it's a Series 2, judging by the instruments and stuff. Very cool. Well, that could be a Series 3, actually. I don't know. You can bleep bloop in the comments if you know your Land Rover's better than me. Really cool. Comet truck. Look at that. Very rare truck. Unbelievably solid. Like, oh, like it's really nicely patinaed, but not actually that rusty. I can just about see the plumbing and drainage sign on the side of it. Beetle parts. Wow, there's a huge selection of car doors here. It's an A60s, Hillman Minxes, a bit of everything. Wow. Now, I'm sure you're going to love this. Look at that. Hillman Super Minx. Nose and tail. Perfect for uh, seating. <laughs> the Robin. Reliant or Rialto van. This is the later version one of them. I think they had an 850cc in these. Rear wheel drive. Not particularly the greatest handling vehicle of all time. But very, very cool. The reason they sold these at all, actually, was that they were able to drive them on a motorcycle license so they're actually quite common this one has all the oldest fools and horses only fools and horses uh props if you've never seen only fools and horses i suggest you watch it it was brilliant uh, looks like a mark ii jag or a daimler front end there that's really cool and uh that's a riley front end if i remember correct Look at the amazing Thames truck. Not many people will know this, but this one's called Hercules. And Hercules was the name of the horse off Steptoe and Son. Handwritten, hand lettered as they were back in the day. Beautifully done too. From Amberley, so she's South Island. Somebody fitted a later model bench of some description in this, which is really cool. And I've got no idea what it's out of. Vaguely American looking. Anybody knows what that bench is? Tell me. And this one, she's a workhorse. She's a tow truck. And it's got the original tow gear on it. This would have definitely earned a big living back in the day. And they would have towed everything with this. Bolted together, look, a lot of it. Very, very, very cool.
and there's an incredible amount of parts here. I mean, these are international truck doors here. The only place you'd probably find a uh, selection of Triumph Herald boot lids these days, I'd imagine, anyway. That's and forklift, which is really cool. <laughs> no, we like forklift. And look, not only one ball board, but two. These are really well built, and this is really quite a nice example, too. Bovard went bankrupt, sadly, forced bankruptcy, but it turned out that that actually wasn't the case. This one's got a beautiful interior and dash. It's really nice. Great color too, red and white. This is a Moreland Trans Am, just not the one I have, but this is uh, like a shaker run. Well, these, were, these were based on uh, a film called Shaker Run, which probably not many of you have seen, but it's definitely worth a look. One of New Zealand's best and most famous car chase films. Filmed all the way through New Zealand. Incredible amount of bumpers. Really, really, really super cool gas pump. That's amazing. I don't think you'll ever see that anywhere else. That's a complete side. It looks like a new old stock side. From an Aus oh, I would say Austin 800 families, but I think that'll be the Woolsey or something, judging by the back cutouts for the lights. It'll be the bigger version. And this is even cooler and even rarer. This is the Hansa wagon, so it's the Borgward Hansa, which is really rare. Really rare. And this one's New Zealand new too, it'll be right hand drive. This is a Bedford truck. Not a tow truck, but it's a Bedford truck. So, it's Heinz Classic Cars and Parts for anybody who wants to buy some bits. And I'm going to show you the phone number. We're in the Celica, we're nearly at our base. And look at this awesome seat at the front. What an amazing set of things here. Ah, it's a BMW with a twin cab motor. Rover alloy heads. Now this is really an awesome garage like they used to be in the old days. But you can't remember these. You used to be able to walk into these places and you'd be able to order your parts off it. Of the sort of uh, spark plugs, oil, oil filters, you know, everything you need to fix your car there. They do t-shirts too, which I might end up actually buying a t-shirt from here. Because this really is good luck. Sinclair. What an amazing place. Oh, International Harvester dealer too. Wow, this is like the real working version of the old place we went to, which was Star Motors. This, I'm not going to walk back here because I haven't got permission, but I'm just going to slowly show you the... Look at that for a collection of classic car parts. I would definitely call up here. I'm probably going to call up for the next set of parts that we see. That's for sure. I think that's a Cortina wagon tail light. But that is awesome. Thank you so much for letting us take a walk around. I'll just show you the Mercedes at the front. And more gas pumps. Well, Mercedes is a 280, which means it's a six cylinder. Getting rare now. Used to be very common, but not so much. What a beautiful building. I have to say, totally. If I was passing Heinz, I would call in here just to look at it. It is mind blowing. Look at the spares. Oh man, Jared Bradford. Wow, every forgotten make in the world. 
So yeah, I really hope you enjoy looking at this because I found this amazing. That's a Marlborough Hospital born on, on there. Look, what an awesome man cave sign that would be. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking on this as much as me because this, when I was a kid, this is what a lot of garages look like. And now that is just so, so hard to find. What an amazing place. Plus, if you need a 1972 Vauxhall Viva exhaust, this is where you need to come. So yeah, give them a ring if you need some bits because man, there are some treasures here. Okay, thanks very much guys. Hope you really enjoyed this. This is really cool. See ya. I'm actually gonna record a bit more. I wasn't going to, but the owner just said, oh, you should have a look in the house if you're interested in old car parts. Look at this. Look at the gaskets. Like the sheer amount of car parts here. All beautiful laid like out. Look, Try 2000 Mark 1s, overriders. Look at the overriders. Wow. If I sound excited, I'm excited because. I mean, finding something like this now is virtually unheard of, really. Look at the 400E parts and 107E, you know? P76, which is a sort of Australia, New Zealand only um, British Leyland creation, more of a V8. Well, yeah, actually, a 4.4 litre V8. Look at the elbows. Yeah. I mean, wow. And it's also organised. Bearings and heads. Catalogued parts. Chrysler Plymouth. How did I never hear of this place before? Wow, I hear of it, but I just never really sort of seen it. Look at the old radios. It's just so cool. And all these look are in the old shell boxes. Everywhere you look. There is mint condition chrome and parts here. If you wanted one of these hubcaps, I don't know them anywhere else. You would find them. I think these are Japanese, which makes them even kind of rarer. And as you go down, there's trim rings. You know, these are Ford. Oh look, that's a 260C. They're actually written on. So you actually know what you're looking at. But I mean, it's really true. Look at this, 1947 Chevrolet bike. These are choke, oh, throttle cables, it says, but I think these are choke cables. Starter cables, Austin Morris Prefect. Wow. We all know how hard these are to find, sun visors. And they're all labeled Riley, Chevy, wow. I mean, this is kind of really so cool. There's mini parts, I think. Jaguar. Pass, I don't know. Look at these amazing centre columns. Centre consoles, sorry. Uh, seat belts. Chrome. Look, door handles. Wow. I mean, genuinely, you, this is a, a classic car collector's hoard of some amazing proportions. I don't even know half of these parts I'm looking at. Oh, there's a lot of, these are all Jaguar, like, laid out. But it keeps on going. This is really fascinating. Super nice guy, too. Like, really, definitely worth a visit here. I don't know what these are off, but they really caught my eye. They're really quite unusual. Are these a Chev look? Wow. More chrome. Parts. Brake line insets. Comma, Austin. This, I mean, wow. You should really, I mean, all over the world. 
This would be a great place to go and have a look for parts that are just unobtainable from anywhere else. Well, I can't believe how many brake shoe sets and so on are here. I can't imagine how somebody might collect quite so much of this. Look at the Toyota rear light lenses. I'm sure somebody's going to see something here they're really going to need <laughs> because these plastic lenses oh well look Commodore they're so hard to find now these days I think that's I guessed it was Anglia but it might well be Holden I mean there really is like the heat said I, I'm just guessworking most of these but yeah, these look like Falcon lights Another beautiful old Filco. There'll definitely be somebody here who'll see one of these tail lights and realise it is unobtainable anywhere else in the world. There's the other Benny. And they'll just be. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen anything. Have you ever seen anything like this, Benny? Not this organised. No, not this organised either. I don't even. I'm guessing at some of these parts. I mean, that's Ford, I think. Here, I mean, wow. Okay, well, so if you need any classic car parts, I'm going to suggest the Ring Heinz Classic Spares that we showed you this number four earlier because they really have tons of stuff that I have never seen anywhere else. And I, I struggle to identify some of these because they are just so old and so mint. Okay, well, I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as me, and I'm going to finish on something I actually know what they are, but these are Vauxhall Viva. Or actually, could be even Tirana, but I'm pretty sure they're Vauxhall Viva real lights. All P76 parts. Awesome. Thank you. So uh, if you liked all this, like and subscribe if you can, because that's really great. I don't know what it does, but it certainly helps me out. And it makes me let you know that you appreciate me walking around all these cool places. Thank you.